Well, good morning, everybody. Did anybody get a good night's rest? That was me. I, I definitely was snoozing. I could have I took another two, three hours. It's one of those mornings where you wake up and you could really just sleep the day away. And if you have off, I mean, it's a perfect opportunity to do so. It's going to be one of those weekends where it's probably going to be the, the best weekend to really dig out those Christmas decorations. Maybe get out the tree, start decorating with the family. You're probably not going to want to be outside. It's going to be a cloudy type of weekend. And we're going to dive into the details. Even right now, we're picking up on some light rain, moving through parts of Coshocton and down through Zanesville, Woodsfield, Moundsville. It's foggy out there. It's going to stay foggy for much of our day. We'll try to lift that fog, but you have to keep in mind we had a lot of rainfall yesterday, so it's it's just trying to evaporate itself right now. Low pressure is still parked off to our north. High pressure is going to try to move in as we head into the weekend, but Saturday afternoon and evening, if you're looking for a ray of sunshine, maybe that's the best chance of seeing one. Here's a look at rain totals, though. A uh, pretty impressive rainfall, if I'm being honest, compared to what we're normally used to. It's usually a tenth or a quarter, but uh, some of us hitting that half inch of rainfall. Steubenville, Weirton, you got really close to that half inch of rainfall, but it's going to be cloudy. It's going to be a gray start to the weekend. We're only going to max out right around 55 degrees, and much of our day is cloudy. It's not until 4 or 5 p.m., like I said, it's still going to be cloudy, but maybe filtering a little ray of sunshine through that white sky. There's a look at your weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Like I said, the best chance to maybe see a ray of sunshine is going to be on Saturday. We wake up Sunday, chilly, chilly morning. It's going to be in the 30s on Sunday morning, so get ready for that. I've been keeping an eye on it because I'm not a fan of it. It does set the stage to make it feel more like Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'll be honest, if you want to. Head to Ogilvy, check out the lights. Don't forget about them. I know we had that big debut. Everybody was heading over their grand opening, heading over there, and then I guess they, they stopped. So maybe now's the time to get in there and check out the lights while you don't have to sit in traffic. But Thursday into Friday, again, we're back into the 30s, so we'll keep an eye on that. Why? Because the parade's coming up on Friday, so we're going to keep an eye on rain as well. It's not looking good right now, but... Everybody cross your fingers. I, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll, it'll look better. Here's like a predictor. Cloud coverage across the board here to start your morning. Fog will start to lift closer to 10, 11 o'clock. It's going to be a little bit stubborn today. So uh, we'll, we really won't have that northwesterly wind until we step into closer to lunchtime. So that's what's going to push it out of here. But Saturday morning even, still cloud coverage parked in place. We'll have a gradual clearing trend from the north, but it's wishful thinking that we see any sunshine 5, 6 p.m. We still have that zero stratus stuck in place. If it does clear out, We'll have a chance to check out the beaver moon. It peaks today at 4 p.m., but it's going to be cloudy out there. So maybe getting a shot of it through the clouds, that may look pretty cool. But there's a look at your seven-day forecast. Fog on your Sunday morning. If it's cold enough, it'll be frost. We'll have some widespread frost. Tuesday through Thursday, yeah, I'm just going to say Tuesday through about Friday next week. We'll have chances for rainfall, pretty widespread rainfall on Thursday as well. Also, temperatures are going to be dropping. Check out that overnight low Wednesday into Thursday. Same can be said Thursday night into Friday. We're in the 30s for those overnight lows. Will that be the early signs of rain slash snow? I guess we'll have to see.